Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Nez Porter down here at Charles Street MGH Red Line train station where they just had a uh, train fire. Um, not a major one, but the rear undercarriage of the Red Line train outbound was on fire. Um, they had to evacuate the whole station, shut down both inbound and outbound lanes. And they're going to be doing shuttle service for the remainder of the day until they get that repaired. Or at least get that train out of there. So, kind of give you an idea of all the uh, traffic plus the confusion at the same time. A lot of people don't know how to get back or how to get in over the bridge in and out of work. So, fire department got it all knocked down, but uh, the aftermath is going to be pretty chaotic. As far as we know, um, nobody's seriously injured. Uh, we do have news media on site, so I'll give you an idea of what took place. Um, we believe bus services is going to be uh, set up, see what they have. A lot of news media out here as well, so see what they have. This is this thing. This is the aftermath of a chaotic uh, morning. Um, allegedly, the rear car filled with smoke, causing some of the pa uh, passions to panic. Take a quick walk down here and see what we have. Good morning, Anthony. See all the apparatus they got on the side of the road. Take a quick look and see what they have. Got transit police on scene. They're gonna be having shuttle buses uh, shuttling the rest of the way. And that's, I think that's on both sides, inbound as well as outbound, it's gonna be shuttled. Um, and this is all going on while the Slumda Tunnel is shut down. So keep in mind, there's traffic on both Blue Line and Red Line. And it's heavier traffic because of the... Uh, that, that's not good either. So um, everybody's met with not knowing how they're going to get to work. They're going to be running late. Subways um, shut down the inbound and outbound side. Uh, this, supposedly they're going to be running shuttle buses. Not too sure exactly did they start them up yet or not, but that's what we have so far. I'm not sure if they're going to give a speech on what happened. It said five minutes. Five minutes is going to give us. What's up, Anthony? Right? What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Good to see you. I said, just at five minutes, they're gonna give a speech of what took place. Um, but we know what took place. We want to know how we're gonna prevent it from happening again. I mean, politicians are gonna always give you speeches and tell you what happened, but you never hear them say how they're gonna improve and what they're gonna improve. And you hear it across the board with the mayor, the police commissioner, the governor. You know, everybody has a, a speech to make. As far as I'm concerned, they're good at speeching, but not doing. And that, that's you, it's a proven fact. Um, see all the firefighters that responded. Um, they're still working on how they're going to get that train removed out of there. They got to inspect it and make sure it's safe to move. Make sure it's... Um, so that's what we have so far. Early morning fire on the uh, red line. Allegedly, it was on the outbound side, going over the, getting ready to go over the bridge. And um, as it was getting ready to pull out the station, I guess there was um, smoke coming out of the back cab. So not too sure. Hi, how are you? Get you some footage of the uh, firefighters over here. Um, 
I got EMS standing by. I heard they were treating some patients. I'm not too sure if that was just because of uh, anxiety or smoke inhalation. I'm not too sure what, what that was. Um, I don't know if, you know, just a precautionary measure. As far as we know, there was no serious injuries though. There's other people documenting what they see as well. Um, we know that they charged the um, the sand pipe. They charged the sand pipe to get the water upstairs and uh, put some water on the uh, the fire because it was still smoldering. It's happening. All these people are going to be left with uh, trying to figure an alternate route to get to uh, work this early morning. Boston Fire Department making up over here. You guys got a tough job, my man. Keep up the good work, though. <laughs> oh, I know. It, it is what it is. So they got some tea inspectors going in there to check it out. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty chaotic morning for the next couple of hours anyway till they figure it out. Let me ask this lady if they started the shuttle buses yet. Do you know if they started the, um, did they start the shuttle buses yet? Did they start the shuttle buses yet? And where, where you catch them, over here? Where do you want to go? No, if you want to go over the bridge. On that side over there? Okay. Thanks. So I said if you want to, I guess these are the shuttle buses right here. So, um, you'll catch the bus like right over here in this, this right hand corner. Um, I used to see the fire department still actively inside, still checking out the areas inside there. It's on the track level, so it's up above, uh, up in here. Yeah, it's not designated a way to pick the people up at. Um, it, you, you do see buses passing through, but they don't designate where they're being picked up at. And nobody's telling them that either. So we got the we got the fire chief coming down. He he might make a speech. We're not sure.
Tony, the inspectors already have a uh, bus stop set up. It's down here by the European uh, WAC Center. All right. Almost 
them in the lobby as they walked by. There was no, no issues. Right. How often should those sandpipes be inspected? I'm sorry? How often should they be inspected, those sandpipes? Um, I, I would have to look at that. We have a, a, a Department of um, Field Services, uh -huh. the fire department, that works with the team to make sure they're inspected and then tested regularly. Uh, so I, I would have to look at that to see exactly what the regulation is. It's different for like all different types of markets. Okay. But they should be inspected regularly and tested regularly. Correct. All right, thank all right. you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. I, I figured you didn't answer that question. I figured I'd throw that in there. Absolutely. You're the man. <laughs> I got to, got to throw the key answers in there and questions. Um, those things should be tested regularly on a, on a regular basis, those sandpipes. I didn't want to say it at first, but um, they did have a problem with the sandpipe when they tried to charge it. Um, they lost pressure right away, and then they had to bring up the hose manually. That's why you see all this water on the ground right here. Um, and you see all the water inside there. And those, those are key things you got to point out when you're an inspector. And, um, and those things should be tested regularly and they're not being, the, and, the, and the thing is they're not being tested. And I know that for a fact they're not being tested. I see paper, I see trash inside those things on a regular basis. So I know they're not being tested on a regular basis. Um, you know, just to give you an idea of what's going on, you know, still chaotical scene, they're still taking shuttle buses from, um, I think that even at Park Street, they have shuttle buses over there as well. So it's a chaotic, chaotic situation going on. How do you feel about that MBTA? You think it's any better? Uh, no. It's no good? How do you feel about it? So, so they're, they're encouraging people to take the MBTA, but the MBTA is not reliable nor is it safe. Uh, so this is, the, this is still, you know, it's gonna linger on for quite a while until they get this sorted out. You see the fire department still making up over here. So they should've put those signs out. So all those signs that are sitting at that Podium there that should have been put out so people know where those to show you the signs that, that are just sitting there idly that should have been put out so people can know where to pick up the bus. They have several signs that are sitting right here. That if you know that you know these signs should be where the buses are so they know where to pick up the bus at and not even utilizing the signs that they have. They just they're just sitting there. Buses are, buses are jam packed. Get to document everything you see because um, they may say it never happened. So, inbound and outbound is shut down as far as we know. And once again, the sandpipe that, that took more vital time putting out that small fire. It wasn't a major fire, but it wasted valuable time for the fire department to put the fire out because they had the holes and everything ch ch set up to that line expecting water to come out of there and once they opened it up and they realized there was a, um, a breakage in the line that means they had to disconnect that whole line run up holes uh, up the um, actual stairs to, to put that fire out now you know run, running up the stairs with the holes is not easy but then you got to lay out the holes connect it and then charge it so you're wasting valuable seconds and minutes um that's pretty much it and whatever i don't have channel 7 is going to have right <laughs> then, um, you got dan halsey he's doing a great job over there he's, he's probably one of the uh no, he, he gets around. He's a good man. I see him all over the place. You think the tea is going to ever improve? You think the tea is ever going to improve? Not, not in this lifetime? Nope. But this is a waste of time then, right? He'd have to tear it down and rebuild it. Somebody else said the same thing. 
So I, I'm kind of with you on that. You tear it down and rebuild it all over again. Attaching, uh, Attaching a band-aid that's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Um, so the MBTA, Philip Ng, now we're not gonna talk about him. Somebody said give him, um, well, you know what? His time is up. Philip Ng is, um, is a, is a uh, how you call it? He's a, he's a good talker, but he's not a doer. And he doesn't have the knowledge nor to know how to do that. And he doesn't have the oversight. Now, I say that because I know he, he's not as good as we think he is. Just because you pay him a lot of money doesn't make him a, a good person. Just make him a person that has no resources getting paid a lot of money. And he needs a team. He needs, he needs to form a, a solid team. And, and he hasn't done that yet. So if he hasn't formed the team, he's not going to be any good. For example, look at this right here. Why didn't he call DCR and have that fixed? Why, why would you have this in front of a train station where pedestrians have to walk by on a regular basis? This gentleman doesn't know where to go, so he's stuck with not... Tell, tell you want to ride the train. <laughs> what do you think about your commute? I got a question. Why do you not use any signs over here? Those signs are meant to direct people how to get the shuttle bus. And they would waste the money, you might as well utilize it. How long? Did, tell me when I ride the train outbound. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta, you, gotta be, you gotta be sarcastic, you know. I, I wanna ride the train. I, I, wanna, um, I wanna go over the bridge. Actually, some people actually walked over the bridge, believe it or not. Some people actually walked it over to the next stop. I guess that's what we have so far. Um, I'm not too sure what that stuff is hanging from the bottom. It looks like calcium or something like that, but it's hanging from the um, that area up there. So that's what we have so far. Um, like Boston Fire Department's cleaning up out of here. Hey, what's up, what's up Dan? How you doing? Right. You're the man. Now you would know when the standpipes. What did he say? That they, they, no, it, it leaked. Burst. Or, no, it burst. It, well, they charged it. Right. But then it broke. They had the hose hooked up and everything. At some point, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah, they, yeah. they lost pressure on it. So, right. Right. Now I, I didn't know if it was if it was plugged. No, or it, broke. it wasn't expected it. properly. That's what it was. It was old. Because right, they, they don't use them. They don't use it. And they're supposed to. Are those pipes always empty? They're empty, they're dry. Yeah. You're supposed to charge them and then water's supposed to get inside there. Right. But if you can't charge it with water, then it's not going to work. Right, right. So that's, that's what happens. Right. They charge it with water, basically shoot water. Yeah, they, they hook it to the engine yeah. and they pump it to the main sandpipe and they pump the water up. Right. They have another hose on the other side. Basically, with yeah. all that pressure, it just bursts. Like not even the pressure, just the weak just, pipe. Just because yeah. it hadn't been used for Yeah, it hasn't been used. They, they don't even inspect them. Right. None of them. They, they haven't inspected them in the last, like, 15, 20 years. Right. Right. We we know that. I well I know that. They haven't inspected. <laughs> you find trash inside them all the time. Right. People put paper inside them, everything. Yeah. Cigarette buds. But they're about four inches wide. Okay. It's about four inches wide. Yeah. No, it's a, it's about a four inch wide yeah. pipe that brings it up to that so level. But then it's it's kinda of splits off. They probably right. have so it they might hook in. they hook in, correct. Yeah. Right. But and then when one part fails. Yeah. The whole What's thing fails. And that wasted valuable time for them to put the fire out too. Yeah. They had to bring the hose up on his shoulder up the stairs. Yeah, it's one of those really, really weird things. But they, they got it. Like, there's so many things like that that you just got to go around and inspect yeah. them. Yeah. If you want them to be there, we You know what? They them. haven't been doing it for the last 15 to 20 years. Yeah. So, <laughs> they go to show you something right now. Yeah. And, and I guarantee you they won't do it either. Yeah. Matter of fact, next week come by here and see if they fix that one. <laughs> they might fix that one only. <laughs> That's a true story. The T has been... Um, it's been top heavy for the last 20 years. A lot of administration is getting a lot of paid, a lot of money, no training, no safety, hostile workplace. I can, I can give you the whole rundown. I know people who work for the team, so I can tell you. It's crazy.
they, they got even supervisors intimidating workers and threatening them, you know, all kind of stuff, you know, sexual harassment, it goes on and on. But the only thing is the tea workers don't want to speak on it. They, some of them are afraid. Some of them have actually got fired for coming forward. So it's a lot. It's a lot going on with the MBTA. And then, um, just so you know, some somebody tried to say give him a chance. You don't have time to give someone a chance to make something worse. We want a game plan, and we want it. We want you to say what you're going to do, and we want to see how you're going to do it, and give us a time frame of when you're going to do it. What do you think about this traffic? Is it like the traffic, or good or bad? This traffic, yeah. It's bad. <laughs> how far you got to go? You going to work? Well, yeah, you can go that way. Just be careful. You make that left. Uh, so, the, so you, the, in the wake of them shutting down the yam, some of the, this this is one of the sand pipes right here, guys. This is how they look. That, that's actually your drain pipe. Sorry, guys, that's not the right pipe. What a sand pipe will look something like that, though. But that's actually a that's that's more or less a drain pipe right there. I don't know if we can see actually where that sand pipe broke. I wonder if we can see it from here. Probably can't. Maybe you can't see it from here. Uh, oh, the tea has a lot to do. They, they got a lot of work to do, a lot of work. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna start. They haven't started yet. So the subway system, as far as we know, is gonna be shut down to further notice until they can you know, get a grip on what took place. Meanwhile, there's a lot of traffic that's backed up. Uh, they got shuttle services running the rest of the way. Imagine uh, during rush hour, or early morning rush hour, we should say, people are uh, uh, met with uh, a detour. And there's no, um, there's no designated spot. There are buses, but there's no one's designating the way to pick up this. I guess it's right here, as we can see. See all the people, um, he's interviewing one of the people over there now, one of the pedestrians. So a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of passengers are going to be out here trying to make their way to and from work, which is Take a quick walk over here and see what we see. Go out with, get the light in our favor. Hey, how are you? Um, well, that's that's a good question. They're not telling people where to catch the bus, and I wish they would tell people where to catch the bus. They're not doing it. Most people have been catching it here or, or right here. Okay. So anywhere along this stretch, if you're going outbound, it's on this side. If you're going inbound, it's on the other side. Perfect. But I wish they would have someone telling you guys that. But they, nice. they spend a lot of money on these signs over here that they're not even using. Oh, okay. right, right next to that wall, there's like a whole bunch of signs that they should put out. Maybe I should inform one of them to put those signs out so they know. But um, let me, let me do that because I, I got to advocate for the people. Like People don't know where to catch the bus. They see the bus is coming, but they don't know where to catch the bus. So it'd be wise for them to put one of those signs out so they can know where to catch the bus. And um, there's no T official, as far as I can see. There's no T official this way, and there's no T official this way, helping these people to know where to catch the bus. You do see a transit car, but no person inside of it. Um, I don't see any um, T official over at all. Not, not at all. Um, people just left on their own. There's one guy over here. Let me talk to him. Okay. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Would it be helpful if you took those signs that they have by the window and put them out so people know where to catch the bus? Well, there's someone over there. Should be someone over there directing them. No, but no. There's a lady right there just asking me just a second ago where to catch the bus. There's, there's no one over there. Okay, I'll get someone over there. Yeah, because uh, there's everybody coming over asking where to yeah, catch the bus. Yeah, there should be someone from the train over there. There's, 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 there's nobody over there at all. Trust me. So he said there should be somebody over there, but do, do you see anybody over there? Look. 
Do you see anybody from the MBTA over there? There's nobody over there. I just left over there. I mean, that's why you gotta you gotta report what you see. There's no T official over here whatsoever telling people that people walk to the train station, they expect to catch the train. They they know the station is closed. So he he's he's a bus driver, he says. So he he don't even um this well, where is the um Alvin Square, red line shuttle. Alvin Square, red line shuttle. See, see, they're waiting over here. I know, sir. I, I this got is you. an emergency, so we're still trying to get right. people here. Right. Want me to carry that sign for you? Bring it over here? No, I'll do it. I'm going to have some, one of the red trucks. Yeah, have I'll somebody bring that. Right there. I'll have that. Where? Where are they? I don't, yeah. I don't see nobody. Where? Right on the other side. Right by uh, Citizen Shop. Right there. There's nobody over here. He said somebody the red shirt. There's no red shirt over here. Where? There was a red shirt inside that station there, but he's not there anymore. Where, where's anybody helping these passengers to, to get on the bus? There's nobody. He said to get somebody over there. He lacks a lot of resources. They're top heavy. Now he's a worker, so it's not his fault. But if somebody sh should be in charge of this, like that, there's a lady way over there. I don't know what she's doing. She's way over there. I don't know why she's over there. She's one of the inspectors, but she's she's someone we should even should even be. So they closed down the train station. Now they're taking shuttles to the de destination. Just be careful out there. All right, so that's what we have. You know, uh, this, this, this is going to be like this for quite some time. Uh, um, there's no signs. Uh, you still didn't move these signs over here. Uh, signs speak a lot. You know, if you put the signage down, it's going to help people direct them a lot easier. 
um, at least if they see the sign, they get an idea of where they're going. I, I asked the gentleman, do you want me to help him bring the signs over there? But he, he, um, he, he didn't bring them over. I mean, and there's no real, like, like you don't really see anybody in charge, in charge. What's going on, man? I asked that guy, why didn't he take those signs, right? And take, carry that sign, put it over there so they know the bus is over there. They spent all that money for those signs. They didn't want to utilize them. <laughs> hey, officer, I got a question for you. Why did not use any signs to direct people where to catch the bus? Wouldn't that be logical? Like, there's nobody in charge. There's no leadership here at all. Um, nobody has the answer for that. You know, T spends a lot of money on stuff and don't utilize it. Look at these signs. The signs speak for itself. All you do is place them in the right location. People will most likely see that and um, understand what's going on. And, and that's what Philip Ng got to see too. He got to know that his resources are not being utilized properly. Now he's got to understand that he's got a he's got a heavy, heavy, heavy battle against him. And somebody had told me. If this was any other town or municipality, the T would have been in receivership a long time ago. So we're wondering why the T has not been put into receivership and who's preventing that from happening. And the governor needs to get involved in this. Maura Haley needs to come out here and say what she's going to do to make the T better and safer. Because that's directly under her control. You, see, you still don't see any T officials. Like, you see people over here waiting. You got people over here waiting. So you know the bus is picking you up, but there's no designated spot to pick them up at. But assuming it could be behind this cruiser right here, which we're not sure. And that, that cruiser is causing a blind spot for these cars to make that turn. Because they can't see around the other car there. But that's what we have here. Early morning uh, train fire right here at... Uh, Child C M G H. All right, guys. If anything else comes up, we'll get back to you. But that's what we have so far. Um, a lot of impatient people. They say that's going to Harvard Station. I think I think it'd be uh, you waste all that money. I wonder how much those signs cost a piece. Probably three to three to four hundred, depending on where you got them from. Then you gotta include in print up the letter and stuff like that. So that's probably 400 bucks total. Each sign. We're talking both sides being printed up. Alright, guys, we're gonna head up out of here. If anything else comes up, we'll get back to you. But as we know now, Child Street MGH is shut down to further notice. All right, guys, um, I'm going to head up out of here. I'm just going to take a quick peek around and see what else I see. Then we'll head up out of here shortly. Just give you another idea of all the traffic we have. It's probably safer to use a bike. It's probably faster at this point. That's how I got over there. Yeah, they got to do a lot of checking, you know. Checking that, that station shouldn't be open back up until they fix the standpipe too. I mean, that's a fire safety regulation. And there's no oversight on that. They don't, they don't test a lot of stuff in the MBTA. So safety should be key, but it's not. Safety is actually the last thing they think about. It's going to be tons and tons of traffic, so just got to kind of bear with them. Alright guys, 
Um, one more quick pass around and we're gonna head up out of here. a lot of traffic on both sides this is down to one lane that's down to one lane as well because there's a there's the mbta truck over there so both sides are pretty much down to one lane yeah. all right guys um that's what we have early morning uh we'll call it a train fire at mgh get you guys in the next one